is past the lunar distance away from us. And it's turning. Looks like it's now heading towards the sun. What if this football field-sized space rock didn't make that turn? What if it kept moving towards us? Would it disintegrate in our atmosphere? If not, how much time would we have to get out of the danger zone? And just how big would that danger zone be? Could our planet have any chance of surviving the collision? This is what if, and here's what would happen if an asteroid hit the Earth. Asteroids are hitting the Earth all the time. Every day, space bombards us with about 100 tons of dust and sand. Car-sized asteroids make it to our atmosphere about once a year. They burn up in the mesosphere, never reaching Earth's surface. The massive 10-kilometer-wide, life-threatening rocks, like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs, don't come by too often, maybe once every few million years. The ones we do have to worry about are asteroids the size of a football field that actually make it to Earth's surface. Meteorites. They tend to come down to Earth every 2,000 years. What if one of those was to hit us tonight? The extent of an asteroid's devastation to our planet all comes down to where it lands. Just 3% of Earth's surface is populated. That means, in all likelihood, 97 asteroids out of 100 would just plunge into the ocean or flatten an uninhabited forest somewhere in Siberia or northern Canada. But 3 out of 100 asteroids would strike a populated city. Imagine seeing a 100 meter long rock speeding towards you, traveling at 30 kilometers per second. From the moment it passed unharmed through the mesosphere, it would take less than three seconds to crash down to Earth. For a city like New York, that would mean over two and a half million casualties. A huge fireball would destroy everything in a three kilometer radius and cause heavy damage to buildings within a seven kilometer radius. Maybe it's not all bad. Ever hear of the meteorite that slammed into the Russian city of Chelyabinsk? That rock exploded with the force of 20 Hiroshima bombs and caused around $33 million worth of damage. Well, in our scenario, the meteorite is five times bigger. The freshly fallen space rock may pose the risk of widespread radiation if it were made up of radioactive heavy metals. Of course, it wouldn't be as bad as a 10 kilometer wide asteroid hitting the Earth. In that case, the shock wave would be enough to wipe out a good chunk of humanity right away. The Earth would get a new crater over 100 kilometers across, and a ring of asteroid debris would give us a Saturn-like appearance. Most of this debris would rain back down on Earth, setting cities and forests on fire, and cooking everything that's not protected. You might want to invest in an underground bunker before this happens, because on the surface, it will be very, very dusty. All this dust and smoke would block the sunlight. Without the sun, all plants and a lot of animals would die out. After about a year, the atmosphere would clear up, but there would be very little food left for humans. And if we weren't resourceful enough, this would be the end of our race. We would suffer the same fate as the dinosaurs did 65 million years ago. The good thing is, we have the atmosphere to protect us from most asteroids, and NASA to keep an eye on all the space rocks flying around us. Bad thing is, it's sometimes hard to detect the incoming rock until it's too late. Tell us what you think. Are you preparing for a sudden blast from space? Comment below and stay tuned for a new hypothetical what if.